today I'm here with a skincare review and it's from a brand called Zayaja. Um, that's how I pronounce it. It's kind of awkward how to pronounce Z I A J A. Zayaja? Zayaka? Zayaja? Zayaja, I think if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'll put an annotation. Apologies. Um, but this is their new line. This is the Manuka Purif Manuka Tree Purifying Range. This is for oily combination skin. And this has just launched on the website now. It's actually available for purchase online. And they're also branching into stores nationwide also. So if I can find any information as to stockists in actual shops, I will leave loads of information in the description box below and also links to the products that I'm reviewing today. So as I mentioned there, for oily combination skin, um, I have tried the products out for the past kind of week, week and a half. So not a huge lengthy trial, but I do have kind of first impressions of what I think of the products. Um, I did try them on, on in person so you can see me applying them and how they work that way. So I will insert some clips. Um, I might actually do that first and then I'll come back to me here and I'll give you a little bit more of an in-depth review. So here is me trying out three products. Their first product is a peeling paste, next product is a toner, and the last product I try is a moisturiser. So we will skip ahead to that um, next clip now. I think the first clip is me with a mask on, so be prepared. Hello, so I presume I've already done an intro to this video. I'm looking quite crazy, which I hope also that I warned you about. Um, so basically I have the Manuka Tree Purifying Deeply Cleansing peeling paste um, on my face at the moment. Now, I just read the back of it actually and it doesn't actually say that it's necessarily a mask to leave it on. It actually tells me to take it off straight away, which I didn't realise. Spread the paste on hands, massage onto damp face and rinse off. So it didn't actually tell me to leave it on. So I'm not sure why it's called peeling. I just assumed that I put it on it would harden and peel off, but obviously I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave you now with my crazy face and I'll let you know how it develops. It's starting to harden a bit. I can feel it. You can probably kind of um, see that it's starting to harden already but I'm not sure what the crack is. I don't know. I'll be back to you in... I'll give this about five, ten minutes on my face. Okay so I'm just on the way upstairs now to take off my crazy looking mask. It has kind of hardened to the extent of that when you move your face it kind of cracks. You can kind of see there it does the cracking thing. So I'm gonna take it off now and let you know how I how I look after it. Okay, so you might be able to see I've taken it off. It was really um it was actually quite sore taking it off because I think leaving it on when it was hardened, the granules in it are really, really quite exfoliating. So it kind of almost hurt taking it off. So I definitely don't think I would be leaving it on again. Um, yeah, but I do feel really, really clean after it. Um, as you can see, my skin is quite red, not red at the moment, but I do look very clean. You can see straight away I have rosy cheeks from the exfoliating. Feels very smooth, smells really, really nice. So um, let's shoot to the next clip. Okay, so I've decided to stay in the bathroom because the light is actually pretty good. And I'm going to use the next product from the line, which is their toner, the Manuka Tree Purifying Astringent Face Toner. So it comes in 200 mils, which is quite a lot, with a pump on the top. So I'm going to use my trusty oval cotton pads. Um, I just get them in boots all the time. So I'm going to spritz some of this onto the pad. Okay, so it has a nice, fine, um, kind of wide mist, which I like. Oh, it's not very wet. Okay, because it's obviously very fine. I could actually spritz this onto my face, I think. Oh, definitely. It's really, really lightweight mist. Okay, so as you can see, I'm spraying a lot on because it doesn't actually wet the face a lot. But I'm just going to use this now to kind of get rid of any excess makeup that was left over and get rid of any of the peeling paste that was left over my skin. Not that I don't think there was, but um, again, this smells super, super clean. It's really, really fresh, clean smell. Um, again, a lot doesn't come out in this. I feel like I need more because the mist is so fine. But because it's so fine, it's actually quite nice to spray on the face. Okay, so there we go. 
Um, you can't really see straight away if a toner does anything, but I'm hoping that this would work well for um, pores and things like that around my nose area. So that is really actually nice and refreshing. Um, smells really, really nice. And the last product I'm going to whip on now is the, the moisturizer. This is the Normalizing Day Cream. It has SPF 10 low protection, but I'm going to whip this on now. It's actually white. I'm not sure why it's turning out so green. My bathroom is green, so maybe that's why. Okay, so it's a screw off lid and there we go. It actually seems quite, oh, it does. It seems quite thick for a day cream. I think I sprayed out way too much then. So I'm gonna put some of that in the back of my hand because I don't need as much as I thought I did. And this smells really nice too. It doesn't have as much of the almost antibacterial smell as the other ones, but it smells really nice. So I'm gonna apply this on. Smooths in really, really nice actually. Um, I'm surprised at how thick it is for a day moisturizer, but I'm just gonna bring it down my neck as well. Oh, it smells so nice as well. Okay, so there we go. Um, my skin doesn't look very shiny actually. I'm quite surprised at that. Usually when I apply a moisturizer, it takes a while to sink in, and my face is usually left a bit shiny looking, but it's not actually looking that shiny at all. So. So far so good. I'm actually really surprised at that because it's so thick I thought I would be left very shiny but because I suppose it's for oily combination skin it has some oil absorbing ingredients in it I'm not sure. So those are the products and now we'll skip to the next clip. Okay so there you saw I tried all the products so basically going back to the start this is the peeling paste. This is priced at $4.99 which is a really really good price for a product like this. Um, as I mentioned I was expecting this to be a mask. I'm, I don't know why I did, but I know other people did as well. Because it says it's a peeling paste, as I mentioned, I thought it was actually going to literally peel off my face. And when things peel off your face, that's usually a mask. So I had it in my head this was going to be a mask, but it doesn't actually say that in the directions. It just says to apply to damp face and wash off. So I guess it's not a paste. I did try and contact the company. I'm still waiting them to get back to me. So if I find out any more information on that, I will, I will let you know. But um. Yeah, a very interesting product. As a scrub, this is really, really exfoliating. I hope you don't mind now. I have my notes written down because I didn't want to forget um, some things I wanted to say. So this has a, um, astringent and exfoliating properties, majorly exfoliating properties. Um, this does a great job at unclogging pores. As you can see, when I used it, it was... I think I said it, this is really, really um, granulely and it's not even, it's like a salt granulely, it's not like a micro bead, like the balls that kind of roll around your face. This really is gritty, it's really, really gritty. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this for those of you with sensitive skin because I did find it really exfoliating. It will definitely get rid of any dead cells, um, any excess oil, makeup, anything like that. This will definitely scrub it out of your skin. Um, I wouldn't use it too often because it is super exfoliating. Um, also, as I mentioned, I just I I won't be using this as a mask anymore because I found when it when I put it on when it dried, it was actually verging on sore taking it off. It was a bit too excessive, um, so I would think I would only stick to the directions on this one and use it basically as a scrub. As yeah, basically as a scrub. So. I think it's a little misleading when it has a peeling paste because I know a lot of people are thinking this is a mask so in my opinion no it's not a mask and don't use it as a mask. I suppose they say paste because it, I suppose it is a paste, it's like a toothpaste in its formulation then when it dries it can go a bit hard like a toothpaste would. So basically anyway it's a very interesting product, it smells really really nice. Um, it has manuka leaves extract and also has manuka oil, I'm not sure if it says that on it. Oh the ingredients are there. But they're all um, very scientific-y, um, so it doesn't say what they are, but I know there's manuka oil in this also. So that is the peeling paste. Next is the toner. This is priced at $4.49 and as I mentioned in the clip also, I keep referring back, this is really, really refreshing on the, pa on the face. Um, this is an astringent face toner, so basically what an astringent is, it's the strongest form of a toner and a, an astringent kind of reduces and shrinks. So for those of you with very oily skin, you may have heard of astringent toners because it tries to minimize pores and minimize um, oil release. 
even though you do need oil in your skin in your skin to keep it moist you don't want it dehydrated but it can reduce them the pores and the way it is um overly excessive overly excessive excessive um oil production so that is what an astringent is it's kind of yeah it kind of shrinks and reduces. So this has purifying agents in it again which is very good for those of you with oily skin. It also has antibacterial agents and what else did I write down? Contains organic acids. So that is all very good news for those of you with oily skin. It also has soothing properties in it as well and as I said it is very refreshing on the skin. It has a really really fine mist. Um, I don't I didn't find this drying. Now I do have normal skin. I do I do have kind of a shine on my nose and my jaw, my chin, which annoys me. So I kind of sometimes like to use products aimed at oily skin because I don't like shine. I didn't find this dry down my skin very much, so I'm very glad of that. So that is the face toner and that's for 49. And last but not least, this is the day cream. This is the most expensive out of the range and this is priced at 6 99 and as I mentioned, I was very surprised at how thick this was. Now, even though I said it was thick, it didn't actually feel heavy on my skin. It was just literally the actual cream felt thick. Um, I didn't feel it, it weighed my skin down and it did absorb relative, it, it very well actually, it did absorb very well. And it didn't give like a fully matte finish, but I wasn't very shiny after it either. It worked well as a base for my makeup. Um, so overall, it was quite nice. Um, it has SPF of 10 which is low protection so it's always handy to have an SPF in your day cream but depending where you are you may need to use sunscreen anyway. Um, notes on this, again antibacterial properties, this has hyaluronic acid in it which is um, a huge prop or a huge a popular ingredient that everyone wants in their skincare. Um, it holds in moisture and aids tissue repair. So for those of you who have ever suffered with, we'll say, acne and things like that, if your skin has been damaged, um, hyaluronic acid tries to repair tissue. So that is very good ingredient. And this, um, yeah, overall, like this as well. It's not the most mattifying day cream I've used as an oily, as oily moisturizers go, but it was very nice for the price. This is definitely a very good stepping stone if you're looking to branch into different kind of skincare. If you haven't tried a specified oily moisturizer before, definitely this is a very, very good one to try out. Um, smells lovely as well. So that is my review of the Manuka Tree Purifying Range. Overall, really, really liking it. Um, smells really, really nice as well, and they're all so reasonably priced. So I definitely recommend you to check out some products and see what you think yourself. As I mentioned, I will link um, the online store below and if I can find some stockists as well, I'll let you know because I know they're kind of branching out in Ireland at the moment um, in various pharmacies. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you like this format of video. I kind of tried to mix it up a bit. I wanted to show you the products in use and then have a sit down with all the talky chatty bits. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in my